Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. Shout out to my New Balance family for thinking of me and sending me this special grade eight pair. These are the New Balance Fresh Foam Trail More V3s and this is the grade eight colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. Today we are yet again doing another gray day pair of New Balances, which again released on that special gray day. These are the New Balance Fresh Foam Trail More V3s. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cool combination of gray hues. Then we'll conclude with how much these are retailed at and where you can find them. Let's jump right into it. So I also brought out my pair of the white turtle dove version just to kind of do some comparisons between the two since this one is the specific gray day special pair uh, so as far as the upper goes we've got the same exact materials used on both the only difference is kind of the pattern that they decided to use so we have this really cool dotted pattern on the front of the toe box here and again there is this wraparound rail that goes on both the lateral and medial side of of the sneaker itself and that's to really just protect you from abrasion and again we have this really cool toe protector here to protect your big toe and then that's just in a light heather gray and just a darker shade of gray and then for the knitted toe box here where you see that kind of maximum breathability through the perforation of the holes that is all in a darker gray shade i've got them laced up with these nice thin white laces and then underneath you can see that we've got this mesh tongue in a lighter shade of gray and then and the pull tab here is really cool because that's where you're getting a hint of some more bright colors. So we've got red and this royal blue tone. All right, so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels, something that is different from the white and turtle dove colorway is that New Balance is spelled out. On this version, you've got just a large N, which is in white, and then it's surrounded by a light heather gray. As we wrap around to the other side, you're getting that same exact N as well, and the same color combination. The interior is in different shades of gray for the insole, and then we've still got the same wording that we had in the Turtle Love white tone, uh, except that we do not have the symbols, but it does say Rebel in the Magnificent Outdoors. Uh, as we wrap around to the back, we do not have a pull tab on this one, which you do have a pull tab on this version. So that is a little bit different, but we do have kind of this protective piece on the back of the heel as well, but it is in like a bluish gray tone. Uh, when we work our way to the bottom of the fresh foam, as opposed to just an all white uh, area, this is actually in a dual combination. I do kind of love it because it looks like it's almost been spray painted on and this nice kind of bluish gray tone and underneath we have white. So again, this is a double stacked foam midsole, which is really cool. So we 
we have one with two different kind of dual densities. So we've got the stiffer foam on the bottom and the softer foam of the fresh foam on top. So this is definitely a sneaker that has extreme amounts of foam for a lot of extra comfort. Uh, as we work our way to the outsole, this is where we're seeing the Vibram technology and this really just hardcore monster like gripping on the bottom. So this is definitely to kind of give you that extra tracking that you need when you're walking on the trails. So we've got it in white and black and then the Vibram technology logo here is in that pop of bright yellow. And then as far as the spackling that you can see here, this is also again, just an eco-friendly silhouette. So these are actually Evo compounds, which contain basically regrinds of materials that would probably be wasted, but they decided to kind of reuse that. So it's recycled from scrap resin. All right, so now let's take a look at those last and final details. size and fit goes this is in men's sizing i went true to size with the seven and a half these fit me perfectly i do have high arch and narrow feet so definitely take that into consideration when deciding on what size range will work best for you all right so now let's jump into how i sell this really cool gray combination for the first look i decided to wear a beige dress and then i layered that with a button down cropped denim jacket denim colors i think will work amazing with this specifically light denims just because of the different gray tones they are kind of on a bluer side of things all gray for a monochromatic look with a fleece long sleeve gray troll neck shirt and a matching set of pants and a wide uh, width. And then for the last and final look, thanks again to New Balance for sending me some clutch athletic pieces. I thought that it was probably one of the best things to pair the sneaker with, but I decided to wear my charcoal gray clutch athletics hoodie with some simple white shorts. All the clutch pieces, by the way, if you have not checked them out on the New Balance website, you have to. They are incredibly comfortable and just super high quality. And again, they are perfect when it comes to styling New Balance pieces. Uh, so thanks again, New Balance, for sending over some clutch athletic pieces my way.
about where you can find these and how much they're going for on the retail market. So again, if you're somebody in search of a great just flat trail sneaker, this is perfect for you. I wouldn't wear this necessarily on, you know, a treacherous, really rocky, unstable trail just because of how the bottom is made for the outsole. Uh, but these are going for $170 and this is just such an amazingly comfortable trail shoe, even if you're planning on walking on just, you know, flat ground. This is also a great shoe to just really walk in all day. It's definitely made for somebody who's walking long distance and you typically have muscle fatigue and need something to really bail you out and keep you going. This is a sneaker you've got to have in your collection. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Thanks again, New Balance, for sending these my way so that I could do this review and unboxing. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll catch you all next episode.